I have been in quarantine for uh, two weeks now. I have left the house quite a few times just to go on walks, get <laughs> some more walks, and uh, go to the supermarket, get some essentials. And I'm slowly starting to lose my mind every day that goes by. I, uh, it's been hard, and I have two more weeks of this at least. So I figured what, what better to do than to make some more videos. Today's a rainy day. It's outside. Uh, pretty cool. I love I love the rainy days and I love I don't know. It just gives me like a cleansing feeling that everything is being cleaned because humans are pieces of shit and they just take shit on everything. So the, the water just kind of washes away all the shit and the garbage and the anguish that human beings contribute to this world. And then we just go right back to fucking it in the ass. So uh, it's just a temporary feeling of uh, of bliss that I feel and it's awesome this is A to Z this is Dragon Age Origins I have played Dragon Age 2 I've actually finished it I've played it at once and a half because I on the second playthrough I kind of gave up on it and I have played Dragon Age uh, Inquisition I absolutely hated the fuck out of it because uh, as far as graphically goes today it's still even a really pretty game to look at but as far as content goes, man, was it severely downgraded in comparison to Dragon Age 2. So, I kind of gave up on uh, Dragon Age 3 Inquisition, and uh, I somehow own Dragon Age Origins, and I'll be honest, I have never played it, but today is my lucky day. Let's look at the options real quick. <clears throat> what do I see here, by the way? Ultra wide? What the fuck is happening? I don't understand. Why does this game from like 2009 or whatever have ultra wide support, but Outer Worlds does not? <laughs> I don't know. Interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm gonna be playing on easy difficulty and on show plot helpers. I don't know what this exactly means, but we're about to find out. I'm playing on easy because first of all, I'm a pussy, and second of all, I'm just doing this for fun. This is not a challenge. I'm just trying to make a fucking video out of it. Controls. Everything can be rebound, which is cool. Audio. What else can you do? Dialogue, music, sound effects. There's no master slider, which kind of annoys me. And there's no ambient uh, slider. But this is not a what in the world is. We're not going to be critical about it. Resolution, of course, ultra wide. Isn't it blissful? Isn't it awesome when games do this from fucking two decades ago almost? Graphics detail, not individual graphics, which is kind of a letdown. I'm suspecting that if you go and do the settings, texts in the in the files, you can adjust whatever you want. But I haven't explored that at all. Anti-aliasing. I'm pretty sure my 20, my 2070, and my 3800X are going to be able to handle 8X and still maintain 120 frames per second. Texture detail, uh, frame buffer effects. That's all you get, really. And that's about it. So we're going to start a new game, see where this goes. Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Is this right, Tattoo? Well, mouse. Mouse? I'm going to call you Mouse. What a delight. Oh, fuck. Would I have to kill him now? I thought you were supposed to help me. Oh, well. Let's kill this fucker, dude. I understand. Okay, here we go. Give me the staff, bitch. Of course it is, yeah. I can keep attacking him. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's fuck this guy up. There we go. He dead. He dead. That was a nightmare. Stop patronizing me, bitch. I'm... That's all I care about. You're just paranoid. I know what I have to do. I'll be back soon. I don't know what I have to do. Pretty sure there's another way of playing the games. I think. I think. You have to actually pay attention to the dialogue. I'm not sure. Not a fire. No, I'm not signing. Oh, you fucking I don't know what you need it for, and I barely know. Fuck See, you. Is there something you want? 
I am severely afraid that this video is not going to be like my professional grade drive. Oh my fucking god, holy shit. Oh. This is not supposed to be a scary game. This is probably not going to be the same grade of professionalism that you saw in my Dirt Rally 2 video. What you experienced in that video was uh, something beautiful, something incredible. And I, I'm kind of disappointed that the developers made the physics not realistic enough for me to, uh, to kind of demolish the game the way I was supposed to. I don't like this. I can see the line here. Right here. There's the line. And that's when it disappears. That's where it disappears, right there. Here's another line. I'm not a huge fan of this. Because, you know, still, like, I can't see my fucking character. I understand what the purpose of it is, but... It's not... It doesn't work quite well. Right. Yeah. There you go. How's that? Thank you. Sign the form, bitch. Now we can just get the fire. Ryan started the fire. To another part of the we can see where this door so, leads. what the fuck was the purpose of getting the rod if it doesn't work for what I'm trying to do? That's just stupid. Ah, oh, you fucker. Do the rock armor. Oh man. Very well. I believe you. Too but bad I lied. Have made a mockery of this. Deny them. Wow. So this uh this guy's gonna be saving me. <laughs> yeah, this uh I'm pretty sure this game would definitely benefit from a really nice remaster. The fact that it has ultra wide support is really a really big plus for me. And the graphics, I mean, it is hella old. The game is old, but like that thing, for example, it looks it looks pretty creative. Uh, I like this. It looks pretty nice. Trees and everything. I mean, it's not. It's an area that you're not going to be visiting. So the fact that they put this much attention to detail is definitely respectable. You got the river down there. Uh, I believe that at some point it's like a battle. I think I saw a um, a piece of gameplay. I don't know if it was. I can't remember it being from the second one, so it has to be from this one. There was like a massive battle going on in a bridge. Uh, so I, I don't know if it was on this castle, but I'm probably not going to be finding out anytime soon. But it kind of does like maybe we do go down there. Who knows? I don't, I don't think so. Probably not, but... Yeah, I've been playing for quite some time now, so... I'm just gonna cut it here. This was Dragon Age in... Uh, Dragon Age Origins. As the... Next game from the challenge. A to Z, I think it's number 22. If I'm not mistaken. It's a cool little game, so... Let's let's talk about a little bit of what's going on. So we have been close, uh, pretty much trapped in the house. We take the dog for walks and we uh, play video games and watch movies, and that's about it. And we do some exercises. Uh, my girlfriend has found this exercise that she wants to be doing pretty much every day. It's like a two-week ab workout exercise, as well as some other things. I just do the one video that's like 10 minutes and then she does the rest. Uh, but I do a little bit more exercise, I, I lift some weights, we go for walks, I run, she doesn't do any of that besides the walks. And it's been it's been kind of good. I, I'm pretty thankful and pretty blessed that I have a job that has decided to still pay me for another two weeks while not going to work. So, you know, we can talk trash about all... All corporations and how everyone is greedy and everything, but 
I, I kind of respect Best Buy for doing what they've done, so I, I'm thankful for that. Especially in a time period that people are just getting fired and laid off left and right, and businesses are closing, and uh, on the same token, businesses are not closing or doing anything for the social distancing. There's a golf course down the street from my house, and those fuckers are still open. And Florida has a stay-at-home, uh, pretty much a state shutdown, statewide. It's been issued by the the governor of Florida, so they're not quite following the rules. And I don't know what's going to happen. I think because it's been a week, it's been a week so far, I'm guessing that businesses are given like a, a one-week grace period to enforce the rule and figure out what they're going to do and shut down all that stuff. So we're just going to have to wait and see if those people shut the business down. But every time we go for a walk, we see everyone in the golf courses and everyone is being relatively close to each other. So it's not it's not safe. You guys have probably heard a million times, but just stay stay home. Go for walks, go for running, you know, go for a bike ride if you have a bicycle. Do something else, but only do it with the people that you live with. Don't. Just try to avoid meeting with people and uh, shaking hands and hugs and kisses and uh, just just stay the fuck home. <laughs> you know, it's we're about to go to 22% mortality rate for the closed cases, so it's nothing to be playing with. There's not that many people in the grand scheme of things. We have 7 billion in this world and only 1 million have been infected so far. 1 million cases. A little bit over a million uh, but the way it's spreading it's everywhere it's crazy other than that the next games are the next game is dwarves exclamation mark question mark never played it it's a 2d shitty game I'm probably not gonna like it because it's not my style not because it's a bad game after that it's gonna be a 2d uh, side scro scroller space game I cannot remember the name but it starts with a D obviously then after that is the Fear games. Now, I'm kind of contemplating on playing Fear 1. Uh, I do have the other two expansions. And I do recall there's been, there's like a problem with uh, the resolution or something like that. So I have to look into that with Fear. But I have finished Fear 2. And I have played Fear 1. I haven't finished Fear 1. Um, I finished Fear 3 as well. However... When I played Fear 3 and Fear 2, it was not on Steam. It was uh, a long time ago. So it was through other means. I am curious as to whether or not I should play Fear to see what it's like. I'm probably going to play it because I enjoyed Fear games. They were kind of scary. But third one was not as scary as the second one. And the second one was not as scary as the first one. The first one was... First one's kind of creepy. Second has a little bit of a nicer atmosphere because of the graphics. The graphics are a little bit nicer. So we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. That being said, this has been the AZ, ADZ challenge and my mini rant in the end. Uh, stay safe, stay at home, play some video games. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.